which of the following are living things? Mm. So easy again. Do you know which one living things and which is not? A, B, C, D. Okay, living things? Yes, B is living thing, right? Okay, any more? C? No. D? I don't know what this is. A? No. So B definitely is. So again, I do my trick here. Okay, so whichever contains B is the answer. So this is out, this is out. <coughs> so they want us to choose A and B only, or B and D only. Let's look at the first one, A. A is definitely not a living thing, so this is out too. Aha, I can put down C, even though I did not know what this is. Okay? This is a mushroom. It's part of the fungi family, which we'll be learning soon. So, even if you did not know that, I could still find out the answer. Understood? So don't come and tell me, Cher, I did not learn that, I did not learn this. Students are very capable of saying or giving excuses that they haven't learned something. But the answer still can be found. Okay, that's what we are testing you. You can do elimination. Sometimes knowledge is so vast, you are not expected to know everything. Even if you give me a multiple choice question, there might be an option that I do not know what it looks like or what it is. But I can eliminate it or include it based on my knowledge on the other three. So that's what I'm asking you to do and that's very, very important for science, yeah? Got it?